Hello, welcome back to part 26 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're going to build the collision tool in our map builder project. So the first thing we're going to do here is remove the breakpoint and we need to switch to our map builder project so go to the solution explorer and right click the map builder project and set it as the startup project just like this and now we can open the project and we're going to load the game1.cs and the first thing we're going to do here is add the background image so go to the private variable section and at the bottom we're going to add a private texture 2D and we call it the background texture represents the background texture So now we need to load the background, so go to the load content section and here at the bottom load the background texture and here we can say background texture is content.load and we're gonna load a texture 2D And now it's time to copy our background image. So go to your background image. A minus is here. And we're going to copy it to the Map Builder Content Project to the Sprites folder. So we're going to paste it here. So we have now here our background white.png. And now we can say here sprites backgrounds white. Okay. And now we need to draw the background. So go to the draw section. And in the first part at the top, we can say here draw the backgrounds texture when collision or dots editor mode right and here we can use our game state so if game state is equals to game state dot collision or game states is equals to game states dot dots editor right so when we are in collision or dots editor mode we draw the background so sprite bets dot draw and we're going to draw our background texture and we need a position so new factor 2 and we're going to draw it on 160 and 48 and the color is white okay And now we go to the update method. And here we're going to define the F1 key and the F2 key. So we can switch between the map editor and the collision. So let's do that here. And the first thing we need to do is to check if we have to press the F1 key. So if utils check keyboards and we pass the current keyboard state and the previous keyboard state 
and the keys is F1 so if we have pressed the F1 key we need to set the game state so game state is equals to game state map editor right and now we need to load the tile strip texture so load tile strip texture and we're gonna say here tile strip texture is contents dot load a texture 2d and it's the sprites and it is the tile strip white All right. and now we need to calculate the amount of tiles so calculate the amounts of tiles and we say here that the tile strip dot tile count is equals to the tile strip texture dot width divides by game one dot tile size alright and finally we need to set the cursor color so cursor dot color is color red right map editor and it's the F1 key and now we can do the same for the F2 key so we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it here and now we need to change the F1 to F2 and the game state collision we need another tile strip so we need to copy that to our sprites directory so if you have by the content go to your content folder go to the sprites folder and we need a collision strip so we're gonna copy this copy and we paste it in our sprites folder so here we have now the collision strip dot png. So we can say here collision strip. All right. And the last thing we're gonna do here is that we're gonna change the cursor color to yellow. All right. And this is the collision and it's the F2 key all right okay well, I'm going to finish the tutorial here, and in the next tutorial we're going to build the save collision uh, function. So when we finished uh, the collision screen, we can save the data, and that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial. So I hope you enjoy, and see you then. Bye.